Yeah, I'll play. Sure. All right. You want to roll first or second? You go first. Alright, I guess I gotta go again. <laughs> Ooh, six. That's a tough one to beat. Five. Thank you. Oh man. Double or nothing? Yeah, sure, why not? Whoa, alright. Three. Alright, come on. Come on. Six. Sorry, buddy. Read him and weep. Dice looks kind of funny. What? It sounds like a cliche from a movie when a crooked dice game is exposed by learning that the dice are magnetic. But how does that even work? How would magnetic dice really help cheaters in the real world? To learn more, we made dice with powerful neodymium magnets inside. We 3D printed six plastic dice. We left room inside to insert small cube magnets. We inserted each magnet with its north pole facing the one and its south pole facing the six. We tried small magnets and larger magnets and a few in between. We double checked the pole's direction using the K and J Pole ID app. Notice how the smaller magnets need to get pretty close to the phone to get a reading, while the bigger magnets can be sensed from much farther away. Our first theory about how magnetic dice might work has to do with the Earth's magnetic field. Let's wait a minute before exploring tables with electromagnets inside. Can just the Earth's magnetic field make magnetic dice more likely to land on some numbers? Would they try to align with Earth's magnetic field like a compass needle points north? The Earth's magnetic field is pretty weak, only about half a gauss. None of our crooked dice were rolling sixes every time. But we wondered, are they just a little more likely to land on a six? And might that be enough to increase our winnings in the long run? We tested each die by rolling it hundreds of times and recording the data. We compiled, graphed, and analyzed this data in several ways. In a theoretically perfect die, you expect each number to come up one-sixth of the time. With empty dice without a magnet inside, our results were about even. There's normal variation due to randomness, but they looked fair. With the magnetic dice, we see that increased magnet size means you'll roll less ones. There's definitely a correlation between magnet size and the odds of rolling a one. We also did a statistical analysis called a chi-square test to quantify just how unlikely these rolls are. For all the rolls of a single die, how unlikely is it that we have this particular outcome? The results confirm what we suspected. The magnetless dice has over a 90% chance of being fair. The very small magnets look a little suspicious, but we could have easily made these sequences of rolls with fair dice. The larger magnets roll data look very unfair. The three biggest magnets are completely suspicious. In slow motion footage of magnetic dice, you can start to see some funny motions as the magnet tries to align with the magnetic field. Watch for it, the dice moving one way, and then moving in the opposite direction. Okay, let's get to the good stuff. What if we have a magnetic table? Can we control the outcome in real time with a magnet underneath the table? We tested this idea with a big two inch diameter magnet underneath a wood table. With the magnet directly under the table, it's super obvious that the dice is attracted to the magnet. It does not look like a normal roll. When we move the magnet farther away, 
we were able to influence the result without looking so obvious. With a hundred or a thousand gauss field at the table surface, it's obvious the dice is magnetic. But with just 10 gauss, it's a lot harder to notice what's going on. All right, you're pretty good at getting sixes. Uh, I'm the man for sixes. High roller. Snake eyes. One. One. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Flip it. The crooked gambling table we built is based on this exact idea. We made a coil of wire about five or six inches in diameter with 300 turns of wire. We wired it up to a 12 volt power supply we stole from an old PC. An inline resistor helped set the current at some reasonable level, about half an amp. The finished setup made about a 15 gauss field at the center, oriented vertically. Even with the dice with smaller magnets, you're very likely to roll a six inside the coil. The bigger magnets are torqued so much, they can't rest on any number adjacent to the six. If it's on a four or a five, well, the moment we flip on the current, they flip over to point the six up. Put it on the side, turn it on. Thanks for watching. Gamble responsibly, don't cheat, and don't play with magnetic dice.